We're doing a dry run at the airport. I had to go in the mall. I don't really want to go in the mall, so I'm probably gonna leave. But I'm doing a dry run to the airport just to make sure that I know everything's gonna go smooth tomorrow because I'm leaving tomorrow. This store used to be awesome. In the 90s, this store was awesome. I don't think I would buy anything from here now. I'm just taking a little walk. It's a nice mall, it's pretty modern. Um, but on my way back, I'm gonna go to, um, I think I'm just gonna make like a random stop because I don't wanna get stuck. Uh, I'm just gonna take a, the train and stop some random stop away from where I'm staying. And then maybe, We'll see if we can see something interesting. I don't know, I just want to pop in here real quick. This is, the this is the last stop on like the one line and then you take the bus to the airport. So I just want to make sure that I was okay. I wouldn't get confused or anything. I like to do that sometimes, like I'll just, I'll do a practice. I'll do a practice run before I actually have to go, just to make sure I'm prepared. Besides, I have nothing else to do today. <laughs> okay, so we're at the Universitet Estancia Universitet, and it's huge. I mean, there's no way. Look at that. Um, that looks really cool. Guys, there's no way I can, uh, I mean, look how far that is. I mean, you need, you need to stay here for a long time to explore Moscow, I feel like. There's, that street is huge. That looks like two miles to get to that building. It's right across the street. <laughs> um, yeah. So actually, on the train ride over here, I passed a, uh, a stop. Um, it's the one after this and it's across the Moscow River and the Moscow River actually looks really cool and they have like those little it has a tr um, what do you call it like a those things that the zip not the zip line but it's like a it's like a car that goes over on the line over the river yeah so it looks cool but yeah I don't know man like <laughs> this is a ton of walk this is yeah, and also like the Moscow, the, the subway system. I know it, the ring thing is weird, like how so, how it's in rings. It's like in circles, so some lines could literally just go around in a circle. And um, that's, you know, that's interesting, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's a really nice day out. I have no idea where I'm gonna go. I gotta look at a map. So yeah, I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, friends. So if I keep walking this way, then I'm gonna hit the Moscow River and the thing that I was talking about. So we're gonna go ahead and walk this way and see what we can see. It's a really beautiful day. It's probably like 29 degrees right now. <laughs> I know I say 29 degrees, I literally don't know Celsius, but I'm, that's not an excuse. But I know 29 degrees is around what, sev um, maybe 78 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. I'm trying to get to learn Celsius, but it's hard to wrap my mind around, kind of. Because in Fahrenheit, you have 70 degrees, and then you have up to 80 degrees. In Celsius, it's like, it's a smaller, it's like every point is a larger gap. So I feel like Fahrenheit, I guess because I'm used to it, but it seems like it's more um, specific or it's more dialed in because 
between 20 between 28 and 30 degrees Celsius is a pretty big difference in temperature. Am I right or wrong? But I'm trying to learn it better. I, I'm, let me, I'm gonna actually Google it right now to make sure I know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, actually it's, it's 21 degrees Celsius and about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's like perfect temperature out here. This road's pretty long. Yeah, so we made a left up here because this is like the university or whatever. Yeah, it just looks way better than this street that I was walking on. So we're going to walk through here. Look at this. Wow. And then we're going to make a, a right. Dude, one thing I like about Russia is like these big ass, like long buildings. These are so cool. Yeah, I'm glad I, I glad, I'm glad I went far away from where I was staying at. So this is like um, Stancia Universitet um, on the on the one line. Uh, that building is really nice. I mean, it looks amazing from here. So yeah, it's really nice out here. Actually, sorry about the wind. Guys, honestly, it's like the perfect day, but look at this building. This is like so cool. I love this. Very Soviet style, I guess. I don't know if we could say that, but yep, this is um, this is basically, if you don't know, um, Moscow State University. Probably the number one university in Russia, right? Um, super smart people <laughs> coming to study. I'm always really impressed by how like intelligent Russian people are, to be honest. <clears throat> Credit to the education system for training their population well. I like these buildings right here. Look at the, it's such a perfect day. The trees are gorgeous, they're green. <clears throat> You know, one, one difference between um, Russia and the States is that they just let the grass grow. And I like that. I like that. I feel like constantly manicuring your lawn is such a waste of resources just to make it look, I don't know, like artificial. <laughs> um, like this is natural. Let it grow and let it do what it does. Um, anyway, the summer's short anyway, so pretty soon the snow will be back on here, but... Yeah, I, I like the fact that Russia doesn't obsess over like grooming the grass. I think that's cool. Yeah, so guys, this is literally like my favorite. I'm so happy that I got off at this um, um, metro stop because this is like my favorite mode of travel to just kind of do something random and just see what happens. Um, I'm so happy. The vibe here is really good. I hope you can't hear the wind. But the vibe here is so good. It's like a peaceful feeling. There's like a soccer league going on. These dudes are uh, killing it, playing soccer. I personally don't like soccer. I think it sucks as a sport, but um, this is how, this, they love soccer and stuff. That's awesome. Maybe I'll get way, maybe we'll get hit with a ball. Let's, let's judge how good they are. Oh, that was nice. All right. He's holding. Big man. Man, he almost got that. That's crazy. Yo. Boom. Oh, he ate that. You saw that? He ate that. That was like going 100 miles an hour, man. He knows that hurts. He is hurting, boy. He, that. <laughs> he ate that. Is it worth it, though? Was it worth it? Yeah, he's hurting, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Guys, check out this building. Look at this. Wow. We got the clock, we got the hammer and sickle. You feel me? You can see all the details of the building. Oh my gosh. Wow. 
<laughs> if I'm happy that I got to see one thing, at least I got to see this, MSU, baby. I don't know how I wound up here, but... Wait, Moscow State University, yeah, MSU. Funny thing is I used to live in Minot, North Dakota and the university there was called MSU too, but it was Minot State University. <clears throat> Gorgeous building. So apparently there's a botanical garden up here. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can. I'm walking on the grass, which I shouldn't be. But you know what we should do? We should do a, we should count all the Mercedes, all the luxury cars. <laughs> Every other car is like a luxury car. Um, yeah. Yup, here's a good view though. Wow. Boom, what does that say? Begged it. Yeah. Amazing. Let's see if we can get some details here. Look, there's like just two huge statues up there. <laughs> chilling the balcony the terrace unbelievable man worth it just to come see this by the way did i mention it's like the most perfect day it's like 70 degrees 21 degrees celsius it's a perfect day there's a tractor coming so we're gonna make a left and then go to the botanical gardens i think and see what that's about I wonder, I never know whether to film. I'm trying to, I want to see if I can make like maybe better videos, but I wonder if like, oh shit, this thing's gonna spray me, dog. All right, hold on, let's go here. Oh, wait, can you see that? <laughs> it's spraying water on it. I don't know why. It's watering the, uh, watering the ground. I don't know, should I put my face on or? Is it better to so show the street, but probably like a mix of the two. Once you stop filming for a while, it becomes, you get rusty. But that's why I think it's important to just keep making videos. And then you get more comfortable, you stay comfortable, and you don't get all rusty. I think we're going to make a, uh, we're going to make a left up here. And there should be a botanical gardens. I mean, who doesn't want to see a botanical gardens on such a beautiful day like this? I'm so excited. If you could feel the vibe here, it's so calm and so peaceful. It's amazing. This is what I love, like, to be honest. I'm always honest. I don't know why I keep saying to be honest. <clears throat> Should I make a left here? Let me look at the map again. That. I'm obsessed with this. So those, there's clocks all around, it looks like. And the time is correct on both of them. It's 1.47 right now. So look at that, that's great. This is not, this building magnificent. It's freaking beautiful. Wow. There's this road. We're gonna keep walking straight a little bit. I wanna see what's up here. Probably nothing. But, dude, this is so cool. <laughs> All the little details too, like, look at that, whatever that is. It's just some tower, some little, but all the details. <clears throat> and this is just a university, you know, like there's so much incredible architecture in moscow and in russia in general in st petersburg too and kirov too um probably everywhere there's a little plaque up there it says ussr see it sssm oh with the star you know that has some kind of crazy meaning some kind of demonic meaning no i'm just kidding <laughs> I think we're gonna go that way. Do you see, get a sense of how far everything is? It seems like it's like two miles away. We're gonna go that way. That looks super cool. Oh, imagine going to school here and like, you can go for a run like that guy. 
I don't know if you can see that guy. He's running. This is like the most beautiful place to run. Man, like after the winter, tell me this is not worth it. Look at look how green this is. It's so green and like vibrant. Oh my gosh, after like the the long, long winter and then you get this, this is like the best reward ever. That looks like literally, a you could make a postcard out of that. Oh my gosh. I'm I can't I'm not even exaggerating. I know I'm being like super dramatic, but I'm like honestly blown away by all this. This is so great. See, like if I would have gotten stuck, see the thing about me, like people make suggestions and that's cool, but like I I really like just doing my own thing. And when I do my own thing, I find I I find just it, it's more interesting to me and like it's just I like it better that way. I really wasn't feeling like going to the Red Square or any of that. Like this is what I really want right here. This is so cool. Obviously people walk through here. Let's walk through here, come on. Let's go. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, do you see how green it is? Bro, let's build a house right here. We could build like a cabin and just live here. Wow, you guys. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna walk through this park. There's a botanical garden over there, but um, I'm not gonna go. Just, everything is so far apart um, that I don't, it, things are like really far apart here. Moscow's huge, man, huge. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna walk through here, but look at that. Honestly, wasn't expecting to do this, but we're gonna have to take the cable car across the river. <laughs> That was pretty cool. We took the cable car across. There's like literally no other way to get across, but um, yeah, it was like me and then a bunch of other people. But there's also a zip line you could do too. That was a lot of fun. I had a good time. Now, I don't know where to go right now. Look what I found. Could this day get any better? A workout, the most perfect workout place. If you know me, you know that this is literally the best thing in the world to find. 
this. All right, so I guess we're gonna work out and then see what happens next. Maybe eat. Oh man, look at this. They got dudes boxing. Dudes, this guy's training this lady. Dude's doing uh, leg lifts or whatever. Yeah, we're gonna get it in, man. All right. Getting it in over here. Oh, you missed it. She's like catching the ball. Oh, this lady's training. That dude's training his kids. One of his kids was crying. <laughs> yeah, I love it here. This is awesome. Everything works out, man. You follow, you just go with the flow of what you feel. And look, I found everything perfect for me. <clears throat> She's like doing little drills. That's what's up, look at that. Boom, agility drills. This is so much fun. There's like so much people here. Park is full, basically. I'm sweating too. Yep, so we're leaving and we are going to, we're probably gonna go to a mall right now. So that was fun. That was definitely fun. Anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> Park Kulturic uh, Stancia. We're gonna go over there to catch the the five the five line which basically goes around in a circle. So yeah, that's fine. Let's see how we cross here. Probably through an underpass, right? Yeah, probably through an underpass. So, let's go. And we're going to a mall. Feel me? It's like a bridge. This is a museum. Welcome to Moscow. There's a museum right here. Should we go here? Nah, I'm hungry for real. <laughs> I haven't eaten yet. What should we eat? <clears throat> I'm really not in the mood. <laughs> but it looks cool. A lot, a lot of stuff to do here, man. Yo. This is the mall. It looks like a regular mall. Let's see what they are going on in here. Maybe I'll get some food. I'm hungry, man. I need to eat. Uh, no energy right now. Kivskaya, um, Stante Kivskaya. Kivskaya Vaksal. Nice. Those gorgeous buildings in the background. Wow. Yep. Moscow is huge, man. That's my, my, my main takeaway is that Moscow is too big. I mean, it's really big. So. I don't know, I would say I prefer uh, St. Petersburg, probably. But let's see what this mall is about, man. You feel me? Make a hole, excuse me. Everywhere you go, you gotta go through, like, security. Security. 
anyways. To get a drink. <clears throat> I need a drink so bad. Look how nice the store is. The stores are huge. Look how stocked everything is. I'm gonna, should I become a, a supermarket reviewer? We're gonna look for some water. Look how everything's stocked pretty much. We're going to the bathroom. <laughs> A lot of, um, yeah, it's really, it's nice. I'm not gonna lie, I miss the Galleria Mall though. So. Has anyone filmed the inside of the bathroom before? It's like super fancy. <laughs> uh, oh, it smells like cigarettes. Okay, let's take a look. Everything's really fancy. <clears throat> a lot of lights and stuff everywhere. It's too fancy for me, man. <laughs> I'm a simple guy. I like the simple things in life. But it's nice. Look at that view. Wow. Wow. I wonder if there's a Star's Coffee in here. Another Benetton. United Colors of Benetton. Used to, used to be a cool store, but... Oh, cool. I don't know. It's probably still a nice store, though. Is there men stuff? Let's go look in. Let's look at the men stuff. United Colors of Benetton. A lot of colorful. small men's section in the back. Oh, there's there's not even a men's section. This is all for grown up. I think, is this for guys or girls? Yeah, this is for guys. Like, let's look at this. What is this? This is some weird material. 5,000 rubles? How much is that? That's not expensive. The thing is, it's, this would be too small for me. I wear everything, like, super big, but... This look, this feels really good, actually. <clears throat> Man, maybe it is a good choice. This is a hard no for me. These polo shirts are, they feel good. <clears throat> um... This would probably be something I'd be into, like a pair of joggers, but these are way too small. <laughs> I get all my clothes from Walmart. Maybe some, um, one of these, man. Yeah, did I tell you I hate shopping? These are way too small for me. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say I wouldn't get anything from this store ever, but um, 
it does have nice stuff if you're like a smaller guy and maybe you like swearing or make like looking fancy all the time and it might be cool I need a I need like a triple X L shirt for me you feel me are these for girls too Best of sailing route. What size is this? 3,000. Large. I feel like I'm just offending everyone by speaking English. Um, this is a nice shirt. <clears throat> I wouldn't wear it because I wear all black. But this is a really nice shirt right here. Do they have a triple X? <laughs> what is this, a large? Large. All right, man. If you own a yacht, then I don't know. Maybe it might be good. It's pretty. I look like a bum though. I shouldn't be giving fashion advice to anyone. Dude, that was pretty epic. <clears throat> Water comes down. You're gonna do it? So many lights. Out of purple. Everyone's taking videos or whatever. built a whole bare like woodworking shop. This is on the lake. That's sick, honestly. Wow. Yeah. It's ramen. I had such a hard time ordering. My Russian is so bad. It's so terrible and I don't know what anything is. And it's honestly it's a real challenge. But look at this place. There's so much stuff to eat. And I just picked a random mall out of nowhere. Stancic sky. Um but yeah, I'm starving. You can see how the escalator works. <clears throat> I never, I don't know how an escalator works, but there you go. It's like a belt. Yep. The video of this, cause this is like the quintessential. Oh, look at, look at that. That was not planned. Did you see the dog? That's like that quintessential Moscow aesthetic. Uh, this is like a uh, Stantia uh, something. I don't know, I don't know. No revolutionary, but. <laughs> I would never rub that dog. I'm not superstitious like that. Over here is some square. Um, look at the flags. No American flag. I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah. It's been such a nice day. It's about 6 o'clock now. And um, we're going to catch the bus. It's so nice. It's so nice. Look at that big stair. It's like a big statue up ahead. When I film, I don't look through the, the lens, through the camera sometimes, through the phone. So I honestly don't really know what I'm filming half the time. I'm just looking with my eyes. But. Let me see if I can catch a bus right here. An M3 bus. Looks really nice. I don't know, man. My verdict is Moscow's cool. There's definitely a whole lot of tourism going on. It's so much stuff to do. It's so big. It's probably twice the population of St. Petersburg, I think. But I'm a St. Petersburg kind of guy, man. I think. But there's so much stuff to do. 
I feel like it's just way bigger than St. Petersburg too. Like everything just seems far away. I got um katsu chicken at this ramen place and I got ramen too. I was so hungry. Like look at this, this is amazing. It's so, it's a lot. It's so intense. It's a lot of stuff going on. This guy. They're good. I missed my bones. Oops. I'm gonna give a tour of the hostel. I really don't want to right now. I don't feel like it. I'm gonna do it anyways. Cause I said I was gonna do it. They're like redoing the walls or yeah, they just painted them. There's the first floor. Let's see if we can find, we're gonna go downstairs to the dungeon. Looks really nice, right? Check this out. I think they're probably cleaning. Look at this, I know it's so dark. Straight through the lobby. <laughs> the people here are so nice. They're kind of like painting and stuff. They just painted. So, yeah. That's about it. 